Now, the Resolve organisation, when they put their poll out uh, via Channel 9 on TV and those two newspapers, they include comments from focus groups that helped inform their decision about where the primary vote is of the major parties. These are some of the negative comments about the government. And, geez, don't they marry up with what we've been saying for a long period of time? Labor are making a lot of mistakes. They're not listening. There's too much immigration and the cost of living is too high. We need change. Also buried inside these numbers is validation for how regularly I have been talking about cost of living. And I know there are people that send me emails saying, oh, again, every night? Yes, every night. Because millions of our fellow Australians are really in trouble. And even the Channel 9 newspapers via this poll show that the problem is getting worse, not better. Repeat, worse, not better. The central question that they asked was, if you had a major bill of a few thousand dollars, would you have trouble paying it? The blue is yes. The yellow is no. You can see that in July of last year, it was 51% of people who said yes. Tonight... It's 55%. The too little, too late tax cuts help politically when it came to the lead-up to Dunkley, but it is not going to shape the immediate future of this government. Because while this government is getting ready for yet another surplus, yet could make decisions about everything from petrol taxes to that automatic tax return, they will not make those choices because they want to have two budget surpluses in a row. Aren't we amazing? We manage the economy better than anyone else. Well, of course, the people who are paying the taxes, the great workers of Australia, they've got so little left over after the basic and essential costs each and every fortnight, each and every month, that now the highest number since the question was asked in this version of economic trouble in the left, teal, green-loving parts of the mainstream media. It shows us 55% of people would struggle to pay a major bill because they've eaten into their savings, they've run up their credit card, and the monies that do come in each and every month has been eaten up by, among other things, mortgages. And remember, the people who say, relief, relief because they didn't increase interest rates this month... Well, they're talking through their hats because, of course, the python has been squeezing and squeezing and squeezing, total of 13 times, 12 of them since Albo became the Prime Minister, and there's no room to move. Yes, thank you, it didn't get worse this month. But stable is not better by any question. As for the Prime Minister's performance, guess what? 45% of people now saying that his performance in recent weeks, poor to very poor. Geez, I wonder if they were feeling what we were feeling last week when we, it felt pretty lonely to say it, but still, when we were out there talking about the Prime Minister and his response to the events in Bondi last week. Now, I know there were several hosts who would other times uh, uh, mention things, particular shout-out to Sherry Markson for her comments uh, in the latter part of last week, and I'll get to some of this in a second. But some of the perceptions of the Prime Minister, the bloke who thinks that he's going to rule forever because, you know, he's got this special connection... He's just another politician, and he's just another politician who's BSing to you. This is just after, a couple of weeks ago, he decides to open up a billion dollars for projects, among other things, like building more solar panels here, the company that will get that taxpayer money. No, no, it's not just some little startup that's struggling for cash. It's backed in by a billionaire and a multi-million dollar former Prime Minister. Yet they got taxpayer money. Last week, well, we, of course, had to quickly move on from all of that unpleasantness and pretend that we were talking about a future made in Australia, when Australians know that we don't even make copy paper in this country anymore. Some of the comments, again, about the Prime Minister. He's trying to pursue issues that aren't important to the country. He needs to focus. Cost of living just keeps going up. He's basically done nothing. Becoming clearer each day that he supports elite causes, not the average person. Boom, boom, boom. Again, these are people speaking to left-wing pollsters in a centre-left publication. It is mirroring what you and I have known since the day they got into power. That they said a whole bunch of garbage 
to tick a box to get over the line. And then once they were over the line, they pull up the drawbridge, they'll pretend that they're in it for you, but your job is to just shut up and pay tax. Shut up and pay more tax. Oh, but everyone's getting a tax cut. Well, again, I repeat, for the people whose backside is right out of their strides, 15 bucks a week. For the people who might have a little bit of cotton, let alone cushion, they're having to pay anywhere between $15,000 and $30,000 more to pay off a home loan right now under this government.